We're here with tournament MVP, Damon Beaver, game-winning goal scorer, Will Crane, head coach Mark Taylor, and Zach Tyson after an incredible 3-2 overtime victory over Adrian College in the NCAA Division III Men's Ice Hockey National Championship. Coach Taylor, just talk to us. How's it feel to be a national champion? Yeah, it feels great. Feels great. Yeah, it probably hasn't uh, really sunk in yet, but uh, the best part was just seeing, you know, 20 to 40 years of alums that are out there that are just that are just pumped to get it, and and certainly these guys. You know, I had a great feeling about uh, this group going into overtime, and uh, they set the goal of uh, 1841. Pretty good year for for this, and uh, I'm really pumped for that. Uh, Zach, you told me on the ice this is what I came back for. Could you elaborate a little bit more on that? Uh, yeah. This I came back because I wanted, uh, first off, to win an NEHC championship. We uh, checked that off both regular season and uh, in playoffs. And then I wanted another crack uh, at the uh, tournament as well. So and we crossed that one off the list. That was the last goal we set. And uh, it just feels great to get it done. Well, I showed you the game winner in the, in the other room. Uh, I see if you can remember it, do you want to take us through that, what happened there? Yeah. I, we just kind of got the puck low. The coach was telling us, you know, work him down low all night, and um, how we how we got a shot off in slot, and puck came to me, and I just fortunate enough to put home a rebound, and kind of blacked out after that. So it, it was it was unbelievable. Can't write a better script. Uh, Damon, first year, career high in saves. How are you seeing the puck tonight? I was just seeing it. I guess just like any other day, just, <laughs> just another game, and no matter if it's championship or. Doesn't matter. Just seeing the puck, and that's all. So. We'll go to the globe over here. Yep. Hey, Mark. I mean, it feels like you've been scratching on the door for a while now. Yeah. You know, what does it feel like to get that finally done? And what was your message going into overtime, the guys? Just stay the course. I thought we were doing the right things. You know, it was easy for me. I, uh, these guys, for me, going into overtime was easy. The guys, the guys owe me nothing. Uh, they played their hearts out all year. Um, I was going to feel the same about them, win or lose. Um, you know, uh, to me, it's, it's, it's great to, to do this, but it's uh, no question of that at all. But uh, I've had a great bunch of guys for, for 23 years, uh, seeing some of the guys that I, I coached my first year. And, um, you know, it's, it's a great feeling to, to check. Like uh, Tice said, you know, that was a goal for us to get it done. And certainly I know uh, what it means to, to all of our supporters and these guys here, and it means a ton to me as well. Uh, but I've had uh, the front seat privilege of being with a, a group of uh, great players for, you know, 23 years at Hobart and 30-some years all together. Yeah, and Damon, you know, you're, you're very quick to deflect praise, which I appreciate, and I'm going to kind of give you the chance to do that. You know, you're, you're square to pucks, your quick reflexes, your positionally sound, but can you talk about the guys in front of you? You know, a lot of block shots tonight. Uh, I, I need to check the sheet, but it was 25 after three. You know, what are those guys laying out in front of you provide the opportunity, not just defensively, but, you know, to, to get north and, and counter quickly? Yeah, it, it starts with them, uh, coach and the players, everyone on board. That starts with them, and it gives me so much confidence that they're in front of me, and and with the praise thing, just humble and victory and defeat. That's that's all. So it all starts with them. So and just you know, final thoughts from the weekend. I mean, a couple of absolute battles. I mean, Endicott was a late winner. You know, what six minutes left, and I know, I know, you know, in their rink technically, you guys yeah. have a lot of support, but a lot of support again tonight. And you got the trophy in front of you. You know, what are the final thoughts? How do you sum this weekend I, up? I, I it, for me, I mean, I think it was a great weekend of heart. I mean, I thought uh, all the games, both you know, every team played with a ton of heart. I mean, there were battles out there, and uh, hopefully people will really appreciate the level of hockey. I thought there's a lot of great character out there, and, um, you know, the experts will say it was an offensive game, a defensive game. To me, you know, is a character game, and that's no slight to anybody that's not on the, the winning side of it because, um, you know, it was great character to get here and great character to stay in the fight, and thank God we uh, – we were with a guy with a shot on that, you know, so we'll take it. We'll go right here. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Coach and uh, Tice as well, you 
played a lot on a lot of really good Hobart teams over the years and coach you coached a lot of really great Hobart teams over the years. But was there a moment somewhere for each of you this season where you kind of looked around and said this team is this team is really, really special and could could really get it done? Uh, uh four <laughs> age. <you're Yeah>. Right. <laughs> um nah, we've uh have been part of a lot of good teams, um, in all the past four years, you know, this going on year five and uh Every team has stayed the course, you know. I mean, we're going on eight years straight of the NCAA tournament. So, I mean, that's just not just luck right there. That's a lot of hard work that all the fellows put in uh, every day, you know, in the gym and everything. So, and we stayed the course and, and got that goal done, you know. So. There was some early in the year, to be honest with you. I mean, uh, there was an overtime win that uh, Luke, Luke passed uh, uh, Joan Alexander. That was a tap-in. That was a, a special play. Um, special moments off the ice, you know, certainly uh, things like that. You know, I was gone for two weeks, and uh, to have a couple of our alums come back and be on the bench and uh, help win hockey games was 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 awesome. Um, you, you, you could feel. I mean, you, you got to be good, you got to be lucky, and you got to have a little bit of mojo. And I, I think, I think, uh, I think we were good, and I think we had uh, uh, some luck along the way too. Um, we didn't have too many injuries. We had two guys out that were all, you know, to me, all league players. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I think there was some, some good mojo for us, and uh, I think that helps us. And it is a real tight group, um, real special group, so uh, on and off the ice. But a lot of them have been, you know, and there's probably other teams that out there this year that, you know, could be sitting here with us instead of us. Go to coach here. I mean, right. Love you guys. You played great and whatever, but special year, coach. You win a, the first ever medal as a head coach for Team USA in the World University Games. And, yeah. And now your first national championship. Uh, I, I don't, there's no better way to top this, is there? Nah. Uh, yeah. Coaching another year. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is. You know. Uh, you're that guy's you, repeat. You, you, you do it. You do it long enough. Uh, you realize uh, you got a pretty good job. And uh, um, so, you know, I hope for, hopefully we intend to try and be sitting here next year. I mean, that's, that's the challenge. We have two guys that were injured, and uh, we want to make sure they have a, have a chance of uh, playing in it. So that'll, that'll be it. And it was, it, was, it was fun. I mean, certainly there was, it was awesome. You know, there was two guys that went to the, to the university games on my team, two, you know, three guys from, from Adrian. Uh, Adrian on that, and uh, I think that was a nice sign for – for a lot of people that, uh, you know, you're going to have the best of both worlds. That didn't hurt either one of us, and kids had experiences that uh, they should have, and if people have to step away for a little bit, other guys step up. Um, I, I asked Tice at the end of the press conference about him coming back for a bit there. I'm going to turn the tables and have the three of you t just touch on him a little bit. His leadership, his his mentality towards this team. I'll start with Damon, go with Will, and end with Coach. So much respect for you. You pushed me all year, and we had a great, we had the greatest warm up all year. <laughs> <laughs> we had the greatest warm up, and yeah, just love you, bro. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, Tyson, natural born leader, can't say enough about the guy. He shows up to work every day, and he sets the bar. And um, he said something after our last loss to Almire. He said, "We're not losing another game the entire year," and uh, he held us to it. And here we are. You know, it starts with the leadership in the room. I mean, I've had, you know, the reason we've been here eight times is, you know, not this game, but in the tournament, at least been in the fight for it, is we've had great captains. And uh, we had a great captain my first, great captains my first year, and uh, when we were starting to, um, you know, move things forward. And, uh, um, you know, I, I remember, you know, one of my, you know, best mentors, Billy Beanie, saying, uh, you know, it's, you, you'll be amazed at, uh, you know, how guys emerge in certain positions when they're given the opportunity. And, you know, uh, Tice has been, been huge that way, huge that way. So um, we're here because of the leadership in the room and because of the character in the room. And uh, glad, uh, you know, Coach Ferentino and myself were, were able to be a part of it. When Adrian ties it up 2-2, are you saying anything on the bench, or, you, or does everybody kind of know what 
you know, the ultimate goal is still in sight and uh, still attainable. But uh, or, or are you saying something? Or are you letting the guys just feel the moment and go yeah. through? What, what's what's um, happening on the bench? No, I I take a little time, then I come in and tell the guys like just keep our emotions in check. You know, like we have played a lot of hockey this year. We've played overtime games. You know, I, we haven't lost an overtime game this year. So I, I told everyone to just calm down, keep staying the course like we did. I mean, we had opportunities all throughout the. Third, I mean, both teams had great opportunities throughout the third and then into overtime, and, and uh, we were lucky at uh, how he threw the puck at the net, and Craner was able to bury that one. So just keeping the emotions in check uh, in between that um, third period and overtime for sure. All right, we'll end with this question. And I, I know you're talking about keeping emotions in check, and you know the guys are saying nice things, but what's it like coming back? And you got the net in your in your hat, man. What, what is that feeling like? Uh, couldn't write a better script, to be honest. For for the, just the team in general, I mean, I, I came back and, and we set these goals prior to the season and to be able to achieve it, it's, it's something special. I mean, the team will go down in history in Geneva, um, hockey, I mean, everywhere. So I can't say enough about the guys in the locker room and how much I love them and how um, awesome it was just to come back and do uh, one last year with them. So. Thank you. Congratulations again. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Congrats. Congrats. Go celebrate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.